What's going on, guys? Back with another live reaction for Fairy Tale Chapter 506. So this one, it's uh, last chapter, Mako dead, obviously, and we're moving on. So I can only show you on the tablet. I can't show you the actual page on the the screen because of copyright reasons. Anyway, so I shall never forget the sorrow. I will wear it within my heart and push it forward. Okay, so basically this is about Macro's death, I believe, and she's gonna be the next master, far as we know. So the second page is we get to see, you know, all of these happy faces, even though Natsu and Grey is fighting right now. So yeah, and moving on, we see our badass character, our villain, Adonogia, and okay, so we back. This is the official first page. So we have we see Erza, you know, standing on the battlefield, and then we see Mavis standing on the battlefield. She's crying. Master, could you do me the honor of the naming the child and becoming his parents? What? Okay. So this is going back to Fairy Tale Zero. If you guys read Fairy Tale Zero, oh, uh, I don't think they showed this in the actual manga, but uh, I'm not positive about that. Uh, basically, Macrove got named by Mavis. So, like, she's crying right now, and then see Mak Makarov, she actually named it there because he's falling down, and then someone come and tap on the shoulder. Oh shit, it's Laxus. See, in the last chapter, I did say, where is Laxus? Because whenever Makarov in trouble, Laxus is always there. But this time, I don't know why, but yeah, we, uh, you know, it's like, in this big war, you need to see a major character down. Macro it is. So stand up for us one more time. First, there are still enemies who require our attention. Dude, this this thing is getting emotional. I mean, look at Laxus. Look at Laxus' faces right here. It doesn't look like a normal Laxus. He's trying to control those tears so much. Like you can see it. It's all ah, Laxus. So everyone is crying. Not just for us, but for the old Jesus' sake, sake too. So, Erza just bowed to the master. I mean, you know, because of master, most of like around 75% of the enemy down. So, that's a great news. To be able to grow up as your child, I was, ah, dude, this, these words are killing me right now. So, page 8. I mean, page 9. So, we go back to Fairytale Guild. How many of our people have been taken out? Hmm, okay, so I would say roughly 70 to 80. Okay, I thought it's around 75 percent, but 70 to 80 percent is the same same thing. Of our forces, if I were to make a quick estimate, okay, that was a quick estimate, so it is 75 percent. Trust me. I would expect nothing less from that man. I must give credit where credit is due. Even so, I sorely underestimated it. The magic witch which I once thought to Mavis and which they see then passed on to Macro. That being said, there were no casualty among the remaining member of the 12. The f flow of the battle is unlikely to change in any way. Okay. Basically saying, even though small fries are down, the big ones are still standing, so I don't see a difference. That's what Alien trying to say. Okay, we're going back to Natsuwa's gray right now. They're still going at it, each other, fool. Ah, uh, there we go. He's going, ah, oh, punch. And then Grey blocked it. Natsu's arm looks so weird, like, just like a dragon. Well, demon dragon. Let's put it that way. So then, punched him, and then we see a lot of things flying, and then that was rocks are eyes, I believe. And then they start attacking Natsu. I mean, this is basically, there's no, no words going on. I'm just trying to describe best as possible to you guys and trying to make a better picture out of it. So, basically, Natsu punched him and then Grey went back, but then the rumble that came out of when Grey went and smashed his eyes, I believe. I can't wait to see this in animation because that's how it makes better sense for me most of the time, especially when it's come to fighting part. Now we see... Oh, big explosion okay he basically destroyed all of those eyes with the fire and then he's still getting a lot of ice rumbles hitting okay then natsu came back ready to fight but his leg is frozen so is his arm 
but what did he do to the leg okay I, I believe he defrosted it by burning it okay yeah you can see on the leg over here it's basically burning so he defrosted the ice by burning and then he jumped back then his leg no his arm got stuck inside the mud I mean a ground and then now he created a big ice around him so Grey created a lot of ice like you know spikes around him and now Natsu went with a big draw I guess it's a triangle draw or anything so he basically draw a big piece of fire I guess that burned the ice nope it didn't then Grey just created a big huge wall which blocked Natsu and then he tried to get next sided then he created another wall okay mm -mm. Moving on, we see Natsu, the, around, the area around Natsu getting cut off and I am putting a stop to you here and now Natsu, that's what Grey says and then you see it's frozen like a huge mountain of frozen and I believe Natsu in the middle of it. So this fight is going crazy right now, I, again this thing will be awesome when I see this in anime. So moving on to the next page. Okay, Natsu came out and they both screaming, Natsu, great. Okay, they're screaming and they are ready to go. Okay, they're going, I guess, full force at each other. This might be, you know, one of those final attack. And we're moving on. They still haven't touched it. I mean, is it because, I don't know. So this side is ice, this side is fire. They're both going crazy and look at Natsu's face. Natsu lost it like you can't see it in his eyeball anymore. He, I don't think he think before he attack. He had just attacked whatever front of him. Okay, then I guess. Yeah, they're both still going at it. So that wasn't the last attack. Now they're screaming and then they're going at it again. I don't think this is ice, but that might be something to do with Grace attack or it's Natsu, Natsu's fire coming out. So right now, Greggy and Natsu, they're both going at again. And oh, oh, that's a surprise. Okay, so Elsa came and stopped. Shit. Okay, basically, Elsa stopped and you can see Natsu's eyeball just started coming out just like a dot. And then Grey, it's just waking and look. Elsa's hand is burning and cracking on the other side. What do you two implings think you are doing? She is crying because you know my microbe is down and then everyone these guys are like Elsa tears. So Elsa's tears basically brought back Natsu. That's what I mean Natsu. I mean they brought back these both of them to back to their own memories like what the hell are you guys doing? So that's it for this chapter. Her tears which carries the burden of Macro's life, will they be able to purify the two former commander's heart? That's the question. I don't know, will they still stop? They still think like why Ertha is crying, but still, will they be able, I mean, will they stop fighting though? Because Natsu just turned from END to Natsu, I mean, normal Natsu, so I don't know what's going to happen. Let me know what you guys think about this chapter. I mean, this is an awesome chapter, but just... It's just, I need, for me, my, my personal opinion, I need animation to see this. It would be much more better. So, that's it guys. I'm going to end my video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. Have an awesome day, people. And see you guys with more videos.